experimental cook um <laughs> and today we are experimenting with a pov camera huh huh you'll see um what is happening from the top of <laughs> my head which isn't really that far off the ground to be honest with you so don't worry about feeling jelly like feelings in your legs or anything so we short over here okay so today I am making um, cornbread dressing like I'm gonna try and make it how my grandmother makes it and I, I tried this for Thanksgiving I, I just there's nothing like her her dressing I mean she I don't know what kind of sort of crack she puts in it but um, it's, it's, it's it is the best and it's like one of the only things that I crave but obviously during the holiday season gathering with our families and and things like that you know have been paused um so i'm gonna try it myself i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna try it uh put some other stuff in a cayenne and stuff like that she probably wouldn't do that but but yeah shout out to mom okay so let's start adding stuff so i got this chicken bouillon this nor bouillon cube um, and I just want to start like breaking it up so it can dissolve. Um, I'm not quite certain how much water is in here, but you know, you want to make sure that when you put your chicken in, it's, it's basically covered. And if you have extra stock, then you can uh, freeze it, um, strain it, do some chicken soup. Um, you know add some noodles to it or something like that so I just want to start working on the powders um, and then I have some um, what do you call it seasoned salt then a little cayenne That's, this is not something she would do but um, I'm doing it um, there's a spot in uh, Oakland called Oaktown Spy Shop um, and this is not really, this is not a, a paid promotion or anything. We just really, we just really love their, their seasonings and their seasoning combinations. Um, yeah. And also like, you know, I'm hella eyeballing. I don't know what the hell, you know, I, I, as it, when it cooks, when it cooks, I'll go through and, and give it a taste or whatever. We got some onion powder, or granules. I don't know about y'all, but powder sometimes be caking, caking stuff up. So having the granules makes it come out a bit easier. Um, and this is uh, roasted garlic. Roasted garlic. I mean, it smells fire. It smells way better than just regular. And then of course we have black pop off. And my hand is wet. So. And I have a Mary's free range chicken. I wish I knew what step a Mary's chicken was, but I wasn't paying attention to all that. But Mary's chicken is mad popular. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see, hatched, raised, traceability. Are they tracing chickens? <laughs> oh damn, this is, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is all the the parts. So you know what? We're gonna use it. I'm sure there's some heart in there, some kidneys. Now this is something that my grandmother would do: is keep all the giblets in the stuffing. Um, I also want to cut off this little excess fat. We don't 
we don't really need that. Let me get the other side. Yeah. And then we're just gonna finish unwrapping this chicken. Make sure you wipe your counters off if you are doing it like me, which is not very smart, but, oh, hell, we all gonna die. We all gonna get damn salmonella. There's a swimming pool with salmonella. Pop that chicken in there. Yeah, yeah, get settled. Then we gonna pop our celery. I'm just gonna toss that in there. Bonk. Bonk. With the with the little ruffles and all, man. We're gonna pop in our bells. No, I don't have a bigger, I don't have a bigger pot is my problem. And then a whole, uh, see when, when, <laughs> when you prepped already, uh, people don't see these little adjustments or these little dumbass decisions you make when you're all ready to go, but this is ugh, a real life ass situation, a real life ass kitchen. Um, and just to save room, I'm actually gonna stuff the onion right in the cavity. <sighs> right in the cavity. Who the fuck do I think I am? All right. Wash the hands. I personally start with cold water, I'll turn it up to high, and then let it come to a boil, then I'll drop it down to um, low and let it go for a couple of hours. It's been on for about two hours and 15 minutes or so. And it's just 
falling off the bone. this hell I don't know what the oh that's a liver yeah I'm not crazy about liver I will eat chicken heart I'll eat kidneys the liver though can miss me or chick chick come here little chick chick little pee pee want to make sure you have a like really clean broth and I think we do give it a stir see if we're missing anything I don't think we are so I'll do something about that for now I'm gonna give this little taste yeah that's dope that's dope Put this back on the stove to just relax a minute, not to continue heating. And then we got our chicken and our kidneys and whatever right here. Saute our vegetables for the stuffing. I saved this uh, fourth cup of butter for that saute and here is what we're sauteing so right here we have some white onion yellow onion maybe um, some celery bell pepper garlic and that is what we are going to put into our stuffing to keep the flavors got our oven preheating let's toss in our veg That saute do his thing and then I'm going to uh, start breaking up this cornbread this cornbread is no special recipe at all I just kind of put something together actually and I didn't have cornmeal I only had like um, um, polenta which is a different grind different grind than cornmeal I think cornmeal might be a finer a finer grind um, so yeah we're just gonna crush this crush that up and um, my grandmother told me to add some like Some, like herb stuffing so 
so we'll just add the rest of that. Spread that around. And now we're just waiting for um, our saute to really become warm and loosen up a bit. And then we'll be ready to start adding. This, this sort of dish is really starts off as a mush uh, become, before it becomes, you know, um, tight and um, a thicker substance is gonna look really loose. Damn, you probably heard that, but we get car accidents over here all the time. I'm actually gonna start adding these little bits of the kidney. The outside. I'm gonna add uh, a little, a little salt. Take our saute. Pop it on in. Pop it on in. Pop, pop it on in. This might be a lot for you. You ain't gotta put this much veg if that ain't so for teasy. Do you? Now we start adding the stock. Oh, shiitake. Damn, I'm gonna have to mop. Okay. Pour in the stock, it's delicious. Uh, pour in the stock, it's delicious. Oh yeah. See it might look gross right now. Let me tell you something. When it starts cooking up, becoming stuffing as you know it, you won't, you might only know stuffing the finished product stuffing, but before it's that and you chilling in the living room watching the game. Why everybody else cooking? This is what it looked like. Let's give it a taste. Oh, you know what? At the bottom of the pot, the sediment. How hot are you? The sediment at the bottom. It got it all. It got it all. stock gonna be good later on make some um make some ramen with it oh yeah oh yeah hear that mm, I didn't hear Megan and Cardi talking about this that was gross I'm a, I'm a stock Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Now let's go ahead and just add a little bit more seasoning. Fortify that. Yes, 
this in a movie. I killed the black. Bitch, I'm touching. No spies. Snapsies. That's fire. That's fire. That's 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 fire. Man. My grandmother said her secret is a touch. <laughs> uh, uh, and I'm just gonna add a, um, a touch of sugar. Yeah. You might be thinking I'm crazy, but <clears throat> balance, people. Balance. Alright, so we have made it to the final product and here it is this is our chicken and cornbread stuffing I mean it's so pretty let's see if I can get it and it's up to you how um, how creamy or how stiff you want your stuffing. Some people like it a little crispy like on the edge here. And some people like it a little loose. It just depends on what works for you, man. So let's give it a... Enjoy this rest, sort of recipe. You know, I don't, I don't link no recipes. I don't do nothing like that. But you know, it's hard to give you a recipe of some shit that I'm just trying. But this is this is smacking right here. I definitely recommend um, you giving this a shot. It's such a warm, comforting meal. These cold nights that we're having. So yeah, man. Enjoy. Experimental cook. We out. Bye.